annual tribute for District 7 is Johanna Mason. sister. Bridget is her name? Bryn. Mm-hmm. And she lives in District 7? Uh, yes. Along with my parents. I see. Um, and you live in District 11? How did that happen? About a year ago, a man came to my house, armed with a gun, threatening to kill my family if we didn't give him all our food and money. I couldn't let my parents waste all the hard work we put in by giving it to this insane old man. So I ran into the kitchen and grabbed my father's rifle. I loaded it, shot it, and let's just say it didn't end well for the man. The Capitol punished me by separating me from my family. They put me in District 11 to work long, hard days in the field. And they told me that once the Hunger Games came around, I'd have to volunteer for District 11. And here you are. Now tell me, Bethany. What is your motivation to win these Hunger Games? Well, first of all, I kind of don't want to die. <laughs> but I want Bryn to grow up knowing that there's hope somewhere in this whole world. And I want to prove to my parents that I can be the strong, determined daughter that they always wanted me to be. Hopefully, the odds are in my favor this year. Three, two, one.
It appears as though the female tributes are going to do exceptionally well this year. And take a look. The careers this year are made up of the girls from districts 1, 2, 3, and 4 who all ditched their district partners. Ha ha ha! I love how they change things up every year in the Hunger Games.